Hello, it's Jillian and I'm coming to you live from Bliss Crystals over here in Temecula, California. Here we go, you guys. Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto, uh, water sign, and it's from October 23rd to November 1st, give or take. Um, and they are characterized by being mysterious. They're very complicated. They're independent. They're super creative, super sensitive. They're very quietly powerful. Um, power is a big um, issue, and I'm gonna get to that in just a moment. They're passionate, they're secretive. They have an intensity about them. You'll definitely know if you know any Scorpio friends. Um, they are efficient, actually. They're a little antisocial sometimes. They can be a little moody, a little changeable, and they have a very strong will, um, very determined, strong intuition, and a very strong emotional depth. And Scorpios, they just can't help but be who they are. They love to uncover what has been hidden. Um, so a lot of shadow work is wonderful during Scorpio season and you know Scorpios in general uh, is a great time of year to do that shadow work. The energy of Scorpio can actually help you learn something new um, or maybe clear out old stuff and move forward. Um, if something needs to be dealt with in order to move forward, now is the time to clear that out. And um, you know this is the, t the season of deciding and thinking about what do we need to burn to the ground in order to rise like a phoenix into a new chapter. So this is a good time to um, pose that question to yourself and think about like, what do we need to get rid of to move forward and move into this new age and this new chapter in life? Scorpio is all about power. It's a very powerful sign. Sometimes this power can be a little too much um, for, for us, but Scorpios in general. Sometimes now is the time to let go of some of the power. Some of these power struggles or just power issues you're having so that you can achieve balance. So um, again, you know, Scorpio, very powerful sign. Sometimes they can, they can sting if they're provoked, just like their Scorpion um, brethren. The Zodiac's a deep feeler. They're super, super, super deep. They, they feel very deeply. Um, they're very intense. They don't like to show it, but they're actually really sensitive. They're really sensitive souls. Just, I can relate because I'm a water sign as well. Um, you know, I'm a Cancer. This, sh this shell around me and this like soft, gooey center. Uh, Scorpios are kind of also the same, but they, you know, they have that stinger, <laughs> right? So they'll lash out to protect themselves if they feel threatened, just like um, scorpions. And one of the ruling planets um, in addition to Mars is Pluto, which is the dark and transformative energy. That's the Lord of the underworld, right? It gives us some background on why Scorpios are so drawn to the hidden and taboo sides of life. Because by the way, they're also really into occult and anything that's like mysterious, like tarot, any you know, divination arts. Um, they're highly, highly intuitive. So um, some of the best you know, fortune tellers and tarot readers are indeed Scorpios. Um, and they're also fixed zodiac signs, which means that they are driven to reach their goals. They have a really great sense of control over their um, their deep well of emotions and deep sense of control over their life in general. I'm gonna flip us around so we can check out the crystals. So we have our Scorpio card first, and I love these cards. Of course, we make these here at Bliss Crystals, and they have all this lovely, juicy information on the front here. We go through um, you know, the basic information, water sign, Mars and Pluto, uh, ruling. The key phrase is, I desire. It's a fixed sign quality, as I mentioned before. The color is black, very appropriate for this time of year. Um, the birthstones are topaz and malachite, also citrine is an alternative birthstone. And um, on the back we have um, the basic crystals that we recommend for Scorpios, and then a description of those crystals here. A little blurb, little description about Scorpio energy here. And um, I will be bringing this card back up again uh, various times throughout the show to, um, you know, illustrate and read from the card some of these wonderful um, 
aspects of those crystals. All right, then we get into our blue topaz. This is gonna resonate a little bit strongly with that um, water elements that Scorpios are, um, helping them to kind of like navigate the emotions a little bit more. And then um, it also has just like a more cooling, calming energy too. Um, but same same kind of energy as I mentioned before with the Imperial when I was talking about that. So it's Topaz helps to um, assess your own inner riches, helps you to attract helpful people into your life and recharge your batteries. And it helps you shift your perspective into something a little more positive. I like that. Balance, willpower with flexibility and understanding. 